Hi YouTube, today I'm going to do a quick video, I hope it'll be quick, but it probably won't be that quick, on uh, Gromphodorina portentosa, the common Madagascar hissing cockroach breeding. Um, I don't even know why I try to pronounce things, you know I always mess things up. <laughs> but I have been promising this to a friend of mine. Um, for over a month, so Kyle, here you go. I'm sorry it took so long. I just got so much going on, but here you go. So the first thing you're going to need, um, well, actually, before I even got my my roaches, you're going to need a male and a female roach, uh, um, his and cockroach. Sorry for the ums, but you're going to need a suitable container, and I don't remember what size container this is. You can look at my um, cheap enclosures. And find out what size that is um, this container is make sure you double screen hot glue make sure you have Vaseline going all the way around to keep them in make sure you have a great specimen of a male which that is a great specimen of a female which she is and make sure that your um, lid you see i have this lid is glued hot glued and screened on both sides so nymphs can't get out tight fitting this is a good container to use this type of container something that's tight fitting this critter keeper is not a suitable container um even i know people say you know with the vaseline you don't even have to use a top this is not correct um, even if you grease this top up here like a hooker's bottom, uh, whenever your nymphs are born, they will be able to climb right over that Vaseline and straight through these holes with no problem whatsoever. Even these big guys, babies, are small enough that they can come out of there with no issue whatsoever. So you don't want to use this. You only want to use something with screening. Um, you're going to need, um, for your housing, um, so I'll go with basic here, but this is what you need. You need your male and you need your female. Uh, for uh, ratio, I like to go um, anything, maybe one male to three to three to ten females. Mm. I think is fine. I've never liked many males in any colony of mine, um, and that's gotten me into trouble because there was actually several times, and I've. <laughs> Where I've actually ran out That can happen meals. too, but when you're trying to get rid of a colony, you really don't care. And with these guys, I started out trying to just have a pet collection, and I never expected to have the collection I have. So if you're going to breed these guys, you better have something to do with them, or you'll be like I am and have about, if I had to guess, I'd say probably six, seven thousand of these and have absolutely nothing to do with them. So, um, <laughs> just tank at the tank at the tank at the enclosure at the enclosure. So, you better have something to do with them. That's so, all I got to say. Um, you can feed them. Um, I feed my guys um, whenever I had a few of them. I had this elaborate roach child thing, but now that I have so many, I feed them basically pick, uh, chick layer pellets or um, the crumbles. And uh, you can see that on my videos also. Or I like to give them the, um, I still buy the cat food because of the protein so that they uh, don't eat each other. I still use the water gels. Um, this is what they look like whenever you hydrate them. They still need somewhere to hide. You can use um, tubes. Um, you can use egg um, crates, egg cartons, even in something this small. Or you can, you know, make it more natural if you want to use a 10-gallon tank or something. Or even in there, you can use um, a little high. You can use something more fancy for your water bowl, food bowl, just whatever you want to use. One thing with breeding that you do want to do, you might want to have a, a heat gun. Because with breeding, unlike just having them, you don't want your temps to be over um, 90 degrees. Because over 90 degrees, your males will start fighting to the point that they won't breed. So you is and also if you're not breeding, you don't want to have you unless it's just cold where you have them. You don't want heat at all. You know, just regular room temps because 
uh, the faster they grow, the faster they die. So, you know, the slower they grow, the longer you enjoy your pet. So, um, let's see, what else? Sorry, I hit the button there. Um, I don't know, I'm sure you can see they're all up under there. This is just a dollar, um, water, uh, Dollar Tree, uh, dog bowl. And there's no telling how many roaches in here. Every one of these tubes, in this particular one, every single tube is just like filled to the brim. And I just use, they're so heavy that I just use the cutouts from the, um, I use the cutouts from the container as dividers. And this is a great, um, this right here I, I'd like to show you. If you. When you get large numbers, this right here is a great net catcher. Um, this is actually what it is. I got found this at Walmart. It's a, um, a window fly trap. I just stick it on there and then tape it on both sides and it's great. And that works wonderful for um, holding your stuff. This is another reason you want to double glue your stuff and your screen because a lot of weight goes against that. So, you know, you'll end up with so many hissers. I've only had hissers for one year, honestly. Um, one year and not even a month. I got my very first um, hissers one year ago from Grez Exotic. They were 100 babies. They were this, that size. They were smaller than that. They were, <laughs> they were the smallest size you can possibly get, like that size. 100, I paid $40 for them. And this is what they turned into. Not this, this is just one container. So I'll take a picture of this container for you and I'll, I'll take a picture of the others. And this is what 100 can be in one year and less than one month. So um, if you have any questions on breeding, just ask me. And if I can help you, I certainly will. Or you can just email me at um, 910geckogale at gmail.com. Thanks for watching. And um, Kyle, hopes this, hope this helps you and anybody else with any questions. Oh, one last thing I forgot. Your secret weapon in breeding Madagascar hissing cockroaches. The banana. The overripe banana. Give them these. They will breed like crazy. I kid you not. The banana.